So I'm visiting with South Coast Innovator Labs, and with me is Sam Flouting and Robert Constantine and Ed Bellevue. And maybe you could tell me a bit about your project and what you're looking to do in creating the new makerspace. Okay, well, we're uh, trying to put together uh, a, a makerspace that uh, will be as diverse as possible for this area. Uh, we're hoping to be able to work with um, people who are uh, trying to bring the product to market, uh, people who just want to learn something, somebody who just wants to dabble or learn about anything. It could be uh, whatever in craft or uh, technology. Uh, we have a wide range of people and experiences and uh, sounds good. So, Robert, what are what are some of the things that you you see that are worth working on in, in a makerspace? Well, I have a number of pet projects, and they're different enough uh, from uh, an improved diesel engine that's smaller and lighter and cheaper to make uh, and more efficient than any current diesel. Uh, to things like aerial wind turbines uh, that don't require a tower to fly them, that fly themselves like a kite at high altitudes where the wind resource is much higher. Um, and I have some marine projects in mind, but basically it's for me, what I'm going to get out of it is a prototyping space to have a more capable shop than I presently have. And uh, probably the best thing to come out of it though is going to be cross-pollination with other ideas, people who can uh, save me time by preventing me from running down dead alleys, and uh, that I can use the, my years of experience to help in kind. Hmm. And Sam, what are some of the things that you've been working on or interested in working on? So there's sort of a wide range of interests. Um, electrical engineer by day, um, by sort of dabble into all sorts of engineering, gardening, um, woodworking. Um, one of the projects that we're actually working to put together that I put together with my wife is a thing we're putting together for a event we're having, which is basically a wooden catapult kit that we can have kids get the kit, which is several pieces of wood, um, a small ceramic flower pot, and some hardware, and then assemble a fully functional catapult that can be used to launch projectiles at various spots in the room. That's great. One less member. <laughs> well, that's pretty fun. And so you've you've got this kit kind of figured out, and you've you how many of these have you have you made? So far, I think I've made six. Okay. Um, and so we'll be tooling up for our event to be able to make a bunch. So we have a bunch of kits for people to put together, mm -hmm. and hopefully be a good way to spread interest in the group by people yeah. seeing sort of different things they can make and. How easy to sort of get started. That's neat. And you think you know the design pretty well. It looks like uh, you've got a pretty decent prototype here. Yep. And then you're ready to scale it up and have lots of people make them. And yep. That'll be fun. That's great. Um, where can people find out more about South Coast Innovator Labs? Um, you can go to skillspace.org. Um, uh, what else do we have? <laughs> Google, Google Plus, uh, Google Plus Facebook. and Facebook, uh, and Meetup, and Meetup, uh, all with the uh, the heading of Skill, S C I L. Okay. Sometimes with two L's because it's might limited. have already been taken. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, this looks like a great project.